Hello everyone, Happy New Year, hope you're all doing well. In this video, I wanna go over a bit of what we accomplished last year and where the channel is going here in 2023. Firstly, I wanna say we won't be posting for January, uh, just like last year, we give the channel a little time to breathe. I'll be out there shooting videos, so I'll still be going at it, but my wife will get a little break from editing. We'll be back in February, and this year posting on Saturdays instead of Sundays. So it'll be Saturdays, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so 2022, what a freaking cool, amazing year. It started with the Chicanos. What a world, I had no clue. And like most of these series, I go in as a novice, like most of you, we're learning together. This is a journey for all of us. And I like it that way. I go in as a beginner and learn right alongside of you. Then we had the Rancher Cowboy series from Texas all the way to Montana. Another culture in America very few of us have an understanding of. Learned a ton in that one. Alaska, what a spectacular place. And got as far out as St. Lawrence Island. I was Google Earthing for weeks. Like how far out can I really get in the United States? And I found St. Lawrence Island way out there in the Bering Strait close to Russia, 30 miles from Russia. They still live off of a whale hunt, walrus kills, and reindeer. What a fantastic place. I'll never forget that one. The Native series. I feel like that door has just been opened a bit. The series is done for now, but I look forward to doing more Native content down the road and getting a bit deeper. You know, a lot of this content is about building trust. Trust with the subjects and the videos, trust with the audience and thank you all that have been in my videos because you never know my intention or you know how it's gonna come out in the edit and you're online, right? And everyone can see it. So, you know, the native was series was definitely the hardest culture group of people to get into. And it's because, you know, they're they're very cautious of who comes in and, and with the camera. So thank you to all the natives that 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 took me in. And a question I get asked often from you guys I want to answer here is, are you a journalist? And my answer is no, I'm not a journalist. And here's why. I feel like a true journalist needs to hit a story, go into a story and get myriad perspectives from many different angles, right? Put in a lot of time on research, usually has a big team to help. I mean, this is how I look at what journalism should be at least. And my stories are meeting up with a person and them bringing us in to their world. And the goal is to show you where their mind is at and how they think. And I don't agree with a lot of what my subjects say, but that's not my job to, to push a narrative on anyone. It's to let people speak and for you and for me to see where they're at. You know, of course there's bias. You know, all the stories I choose have bias because I have to be interested and I have to be curious. So everything I get into, I'm, I'm interested and I want to learn more about. And also it's a lot from you guys. Like, what do you guys want? And usually there's a lot of, there's a lot of similar interests, which is great. So I'm not a journalist and I don't even feel like I'm a travel vlogger because a lot of travel vlogging is more you know, here's my journey through a city and a place and I'm eating this food and here's a building and I've done some of those videos, but I'm trying to get more depth. I'm trying to get deeper into culture and society and to the human condition. So I'm in between. Let's just call it that. Another question I get quite a lot, which is a great question and I'm very humbled that people are asking me this, but are you hiring? And the answer right now is no. And here's why. The goal is to keep the leanest, smallest, team as possible. For example, when I'm shooting, I don't want a cameraman. I'm, I'm out there with the GoPro. The reason I use the GoPro is because it's, it's psychology almost. If I have a big DSLR camera in the subject's face, it's a little more intimidating, right? So I use a GoPro. It looks like nothing. I'm, you know, everyone knows they're going to be on a YouTube video, but it looks like almost like a Taurus camera or something. And there's no cameraman over here, there's no producer over there. So the goal is always to get deeper into the story and a deeper connection with the subjects. So by just me doing it, though it, it does prov provide a bit of a challenge when I'm thinking of questions, what to say, where the lighting is, where the wind's coming from, how, you know, the times I look at the camera in those videos, as long as I wanna look at the camera, I would just wanna make sure I'm, the, the lens is pointed towards me. There's been many times where I, I'm shooting and the, 
the lens is, is pointing out and I totally missed the shot. There are some challenges with trying to do it all as one person, but the advantages far outweigh those challenges in my opinion. Then with the edit, we have my wife and then Kimberly, uh, our admin person, does a lot of help there and, and with finding stories. So thank you all those that have, have reached out looking looking for work. It, 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 it means a lot to me. It means you like what I'm doing. So very cool. Thank you. Also want to thank all of you guys for your story ideas. So coming through emails or through comments, a lot of these we pick up and apply in our videos or the characters who have reached out and said, you know, come into my Amish world or my Hasidic Jewish world or my Chicano world. Coming up here this year, the content's gonna start in LA for a couple of reasons. LA is a treasure trove of stories, and secondly, the weather. January, it's hard to shoot in most parts of the US. I need warmer weather. Then Tijuana, got a few stories I'm working on there. And then Arizona. And I don't wanna tell you exactly what these stories are because many times there's a lot of preparation and we have the story set up and it falls through or then, then something comes out of nowhere but we have some very interesting stories we're working on in those locations. And then it's gonna be, the first big series will be in Hawaii. And I think Hawaii will be like the Alaska series uh, where it's you know far from the mainland. It's a world most of us don't know much about and there are a lot of different colors and elements to it. And lastly, I was just in a recent podcast. A lot of you ask about the YouTube journey or my story, the struggles. Uh, a lot of you don't think there were struggles to get to this point. Maybe it just happened. Not the truth. So if you want to see uh, more of the raw, gritty behind the scenes of, of you know, how I'm here now, I'll leave that video at the end here also. Thank you again all so much. Uh, without you guys, this isn't possible. Um, I really cherish you, I, I, I respect you, um, I thank you for allowing me to do what I do, and I don't take that lightly. It takes many moving parts. You know, it looks like I'm just making these on my own out there, but uh, wouldn't be able to do it without the people in the videos, without you guys watching and participating, without my wife and Kimberly, and so there's a lot to it, and we've all come together. We're at a level now, I feel, in this channel where we have a good foundation, and the goal is just to get deeper in, deeper in, deeper in, to understand this wacky, fascinating, motley country that we call the United States. Uh, there will be a lot more content in the world too, but the priority right now, I'm just, I'm so fascinated with the US that I wanna stick on this for quite some time. Also, if you're not part of my mailing list, there'll be uh, somewhere to click at the end of the video here. We'd love you to be part of it. A little more behind the scenes and a little bit of more of a preview of what's coming up. All right, uh, big 2023 ahead, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.